since becoming affected by this condition it should be prioritized and sitting with us this morning to open up the discussion is the ceo of bellevue hospital suzette buchanan good morning welcome to smile thank you so much good morning good morning Ms. Sue. how you do i am great good to be here bellevue has been around for a long time yes it has been around for over 162 years yeah yes um, so is it just Simple enough to say it's a, a it's a, a mental health hospital. What exactly? How do you phrase? It's a psych. It's Jamaica's only psychiatric hospital and the leading psychiatric hospital in the English-speaking Caribbean. Yeah, mm -hmm. you get patients. How I bring my family member. Uh, they come from the hospitals. Ho, ho, ho. We operate as any other hospital in the island. So. We open our emergency hours are between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m. So you, once you have a psychiatric issue, then you can come directly to Bellevue. However, there are several hospitals across the island that are indeed equipped to handle psychiatric, to provide psychiatric care. So you can also go to your local hospital, your community hospital, or you can make contact with your community mental health unit. Is is awareness getting better, Suzette? Because, you know, there's a time people say something, you say, Omega Care, go down to Bellevue, go get a tin of, I, I won't say the product. Um, and people, sometimes I feel like if they think people, have, it, it has to be an extreme mental health issue before they say, oh, I have to take them to Bellevue. But are we understanding that there is a, I would say, a spectrum and it doesn't have to be extreme to connect with Absolutely. you? Absolutely. I think that's one of the, the Task. That's one of the initiatives that Bellevue has undertaken within the last, uh, certainly for, the, for a number of years, but we have ramped that up somewhat within the last couple of months to create awareness so that persons that can understand that mental illness has several ways of manifesting itself. It comes from depression. There's depression, depressive disorder. There's anxiety. There's ADHD that falls under that banner of mental illness, mm -hmm. substance abuse, and so many other things. But based on the, on the stigma that is attached to the illness um, daily, that prevents a number of persons from accessing the well-needed help. Mm -hmm. um, I read many, many years ago that family members would bring someone um, to the hospital and then you know, you're from them again and they just leave them there for whatever reason. That, that, and is that so and does that still happen? It still happens. It, it really still happens. That in fact is true. Right at Bellevue Hospital, we have over 400 social cases. These are individuals that are not in a position to return to family and return to their communities because of the stigma that is attached to the illness. I don't think family understand how important social support is. There are many phases to psychiatric care and psychiatric help. Mm -hmm. And one very, very important phase is social support, being integrated into the community, being with family, having the ability to work and to integrate into society, mm. to be a part of your community, to function. Does that mean that when I come, I give you a wrong address so you can't find me if you need me? In some cases, these, they're very, 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 very um, creative. We've heard prior to me joining the NT, there was an instance, one lady will tell you of the situation, that her two boys brought her there several years ago put her over the wall and they have not returned and she has been in the institution for over 20 years. Put her over the wall. Yes. Simple oh. came in and so these are the cases. And as right. I said, this is, it comes back to the stigma attached to mental illness. There ought to be more education on mental illness. And that is one of, that is one of our focus for this year's and certainly the focus of the minister. Yeah. When it comes on to mental illness, he's very, very passionate about the care, quality care. Mm -hmm. And as you've seen, luckily we were able to receive in the budget presentation $150 million. So there has been a lot of focus to create awareness, to communicate to Jamaicans so that Jamaicans can understand the language, Jamaicans can identify signs and to guide them in the right direction for help. Wow, I mean, how have we progressed in terms of treatment and care, Suzette? Because um, it's 162 years old, 
-hmm. but, I, but I know over the years, you know, you're continuing to stay on the cutting edge of how mental health is treated, managed. Mm -hmm. um, where are we in terms of, a, I guess, a global mark on how we treat patients and what kind of care we offer? All right, I think one of the focus, how we have, I think there's a, Bellevue has been placing a lot of focus on not just the care that they provide when they're, they're, they're hospitalized, but what happens next. One of the approach that we have undertaken, that we have been doing, is to have family group meetings. Because what we have realized that the breakdown really happens after they leave. We have a lot of readmissions. Because once they go home, we, the, they, they lack the family support to ensure they take their medication, to ensure that they partake into family activities. They are almost as if they are pushed in a corner. Mm -hmm. And so one of the focus that we've been, well, one of the things that we've been focusing on is to ensure that prior to leaving the institution, we meet with family, we meet with community, and we give them support in terms of what happens next. How do you handle this situation if this arise? And so in doing this, we're realizing that there has been a lot of positive coming out of that support. So that is one of our main focus. Not a lot has changed, but in terms of ensuring that there is a social support once they leave the institution, the focus has been on that and that is key. Yep. I think that may have answered my next question because I was going to ask that beyond counseling and medication, how else do you treat um, mental health issues? As I mentioned before, Neville, yep the social support. Yep. Yep. That social support is very, very important. And that's primarily, that's one of the reasons why our occupational therapy department at the Bellevue Hospital is running at an optimal level because we ensure that we prepare them for when they leave the institution. We get them involved in activities. And so that is very, very important. Most recently, we did a beautiful part because we understand the importance, especially coming out of COVID-19, the importance of having our residents, our clients interact with the outer society, our clients interact coming, sitting down and having that therapeutic break. So we have scheduled times during the days where various wards will come to the park and they'll have activities, whether it's sip and paint, whether it is just listening to some music or just interacting, preparing them to go back into society. Yeah, this, this might be a difficult question and I don't know if you certainly have numbers, mm -hmm. but what kind of percentage you would say that of the folks who come get a chance to leave uh, you know, in, in, in quick time. When I say quick time, I don't know if that means a year or six months, but um, because I know you have people, as you said, been there for a while. So what kind of numbers? Not as many in terms of the specific numbers, yeah. as you've mentioned, I wouldn't have, but not as many as we'd want as an institution. Yes, we get them to a place of readiness where they can operate functional at a functional level, highest functionality once mm -hmm. they get back to the community. The problem is one of the main issues, is the community ready for them? And the answer is no. Right. That is usually the issue. Is the community ready? So you'll have a number of individuals that will, will be admitted in the institution. And when the challenge is when they are to go back into their societies and into their communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one of the responses, we have been charged with this responsibility by the Honourable Minister is to ensure that we run a robust campaign engaging the wider Jamaican as to how to identify these illness, how to remove, remove the stigma. I think the stigma, and we can all agree that the stigma is one of the reasons why people are even afraid mm -hmm. to get mental Oh, you yeah, identify. Give me some ways you can identify. I mean, you can... If, if it is, let us take, for example, you're happy and you're a dancer. I notice that you dance a lot, you yeah. and daily, and all of a sudden you begin to lock away. You don't get the need. You don't feel like participating in activities. You're sleeping a lot. One of the things is that sleeping a lot, we have the tendency to cry, why you sleep too much? We must not assume person's mental state because mental illness doesn't have a look. So sleeping doesn't want to, to, to participate in activities. You lose sex drive. Sometimes the ladies have the habit or have the tendency to say the man is cheating or seeing somebody else. It could. There could be a mental disorder present there. So these are just some of the signs that you can actually, they're not engaging. They don't have that interest into activities. They don't want to talk any 
anymore. Everything is doom. The language is always doom. Nothing works out for me. It's not going to work out. 2023 was 22 was bad. 2023 looks doesn't look too good. That kind of thing. So looking for these signs is sometimes sometimes these signs tells a lot. Yeah. Big job, but look like you can deal with it. Good to see you. I try. Good to see you. Thank you. I, I, Thanks I, I for coming. My very best. Thank you so much for having me. Amen. CEO of Bellevue Hospital, Suzette McCannon. Coming up, Nadine Sutherland talks triumphant. Just before we go, I want to say um, congrats to uh, my friend and our friend here, Simone uh, Clark Cooper, who won the award yes. for the entrepreneur. Yes. Um, Marvin, where are you? See the big award here. See it right here. And it says... Um, Entrepreneur 2022 Sim Speak Communication Services Limited. Wow. Look at that. So, congrats, my friend. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Uh, well done. And this was at the uh, last The evening. Pegasus, yeah. I think, last uh, it, night. It was the Jamaica. It was at the Chamber of Commerce? Yes. Yeah, yes, it was yes, the JCC. Chamber it, was, of Commerce. it was last night. So, fantastic. Congrats, my friend. And uh, just bring some of the money that you win. <laughs> And, and share with us. As Dahlia said, Nadine will be in studio with us when we come back. Dahlia will have a chat with her. Stay with us, please.